talk about a liability. What the hell are you playing at? Someone has to put the brooch back as soon as you ain't gonna grow a conscience. Yeah. Right. Because robbers do that all the time. That's not suspicious at all. They just thought Brenda missed it. And where did that land you? Exactly. Yeah, all right, I messed up. Yeah, you did. What are you bothering for anyway? It's only a little brooch, small fry for you, isn't it? What, do you think that Moira's gonna see it that way? So, are you gonna grasp me up? What do you expect me to do? Just as I was starting to carve a place out for myself. I thought that you and I had something special. <laughs> Don't start this again. I mean it. I thought that our friendship meant something to you. You get off on it, you, don't you? You get me, Aaron. You know you do. What, you don't think I would do the same for you? <laughs> Keep my name out of this, and whatever you want, I'll do it. You think I'm bluffing? You think I'm going back to prison for you, you mad? No one needs to go down for this. Not if you do and say exactly what I tell you. Wanna brew? Charles. Charles, he's awake. Hey. <sighs> Great, it's just what I need. Don't be like that. How long have we been waiting? Not to mention how worried we've been. They're keeping me in for observation. It's a bit of bruising and fine. Oh, so fine that you've been doped up to your eyeballs all morning. It's so fine that you've had to go and have a scan on your kidneys. What, you don't think we've been speaking to the doctors? Will you calm down? No, I won't calm down. Do you know how I had to find out that you were in here? David, this morning at the shop, I was buying a loaf of bread and I had to stand there, humiliated. I didn't even know what to say to, to try and defend you. Yeah, why didn't you call us? Because I didn't want all this. Right, well, are you going to tell us what happened, or are you going to save that explanation for the jury? Nice, thanks for that. Well, come on, then. What were you doing sneaking around at Eric's? <sighs> it's not what you think. We don't think anything, Aaron. We're just... we're lost. Well? <sighs> Brenda had a go at Gran. Oh, my mother. Yes, of course my mother's involved. Why wouldn't she be? Do you want to hang on? What I can't understand is how you stupidly got yourself involved. I tell you what, why don't you just tell me what happened then? Well, come on, then. Well, Brenda was going on with herself with the usual rubbish. Banging on about that brooch and how Gran had robbed her and Pollard wasn't exactly defending her, so... I went round there to tell him to get her Brenda to wind her neck in. Was Faith that upset? It's not exactly fun being accused of being a thief, you know. I never said that. But anyway, I'd, I knocked on and there was no answer, but you know what he's like with his... So the door was unlocked, I let myself in and shouted up to him, but he obviously didn't hear me. And then he came downstairs, and the next thing I know, I'm on the floor. What? And he, he hit you without even giving you a warning? Well, yeah, he gave me a warning, but he just didn't wait long enough for me to turn around. What the idiot? I knew David had it wrong. Right, well, you need to tell the police all about this and clear your name. Well, let's hope he's got more of an open mind than you have. <laughs>